Well, Coach Haynes just casually called me back into his office. You know, I was interviewed, like he interviewed a few other candidates. He called me back in his office and went through some stuff. And long story short, he said, I'm going to go ahead and offer you the job. And I about jumped out of my chair. Um, it was exciting. This is obviously my alma mater. A lot of coaches always talk about, you know, it's always good to get back to your alma mater and coach. I was fortunate enough to get that early as the first half of my career. So, you know, the good thing is I've been here as a GA for about three years. So, you know, in terms of the transition from GA to a coach, it's, it's almost seamless because I've had a relationship with the guy. So it's an exciting time. Uh, things have been going pretty smooth. We had a lot of guys, you know, uh, improving, especially building off of what we did last year. Um, our new model for the, well, our new vision as a D-line is physicality. So we are working on being way more physical with our hands and just being an all around dog. And you know, we, we do have a lot of veteran guys. We have guys like Terrence, Chris Fairchild, John Cunningham that have pretty much been in pretty like starting roles since they stepped foot here on campus. We have other young guys coming up that got a taste last year like a Theo e. Boyg Bay. So going forward, you know, like I said, X's and O's and fundamentals are gonna continue to be an emphasis. We've always emphasized that. There's no change in that. But like you said, now we have to take it the next step forward. We have to get our ment mentality to this. It doesn't matter if it's the first or the fourth, our approach is always the same. I've been here a long time and I kind of learned the game a lot. So it's my job to relay to the younger guys who haven't been here as long as me to, to help them step up even faster than I did. So as a unit, it don't matter if you're young or if you're an old guy, you know, we still have the same set standard. My expectation, I just want to overall just do the best I can every day and lead by example. Like, I've never been that big of a talker, but for, for me to get everybody to come together, that's something I'm going to have to get over. But overall, I just want to lead by example and just get better every day personally. Well, technique and scheme are something that we've always, no matter who was at the helm, as a staff, we've been preaching. Me personally, my biggest thing to get across is our mindset and our mental approach to the game. We want to be an aggressive unit going forward. We want to be the hammer versus the nail at all times. It's a, to get to a man from the best guy to the, to the, to the youngest guy. So we want to be aggressive, and at all times we want to play this thing with passion. You know what I mean? This thing is a passionate game. You can't have success up front because of the nature of the position if you're not playing at the passionate level. So that's my biggest thing is preach, preaching pride, pride, passion, and aggression overall. Technique is the biggest thing we're emphasizing, you know, during spring. Like, uh, before today, like, we rarely ever really go live. Like, mo we have mostly teaching periods because you can go full speed all day, but if everybody's been, you know, sloppy, you're not getting nothing out of it. They, they constantly say, Coach, I want to see film with you when you play. Coach, I want to see this. I try to kind of limit that because at the end of the day, it's about them. You know, don't make it about me, but my past here has made it easier to build relationships with the older guys as well as the younger guys. And that's why this transition from a graduate assistant to a coach has been seamless because my approach with them has been the same. The demands has been the same. Um, now it's just all on me. You know what I mean? And again, that's my message going forward. So it's a good deal and I'm excited going forward. And we have a great group of guys and I'm excited to see what they can do. So. Since I've been a freshman until now, the team has come together every year more and more and more. So out here, we all brothers, like we, we bicker and stuff, but being a tough guy don't mean you could, you know, fight somebody or after, if you get whooped, like you want to fight outside of the whistle. No, you do that in, you, do, you get your aggression out in between the whistle. That's what shows like you a tough guy. Got to call mom first, you know, called mom, called, you know, called my girl, called the rest of my family, my friends and everybody, you know, everybody's kind of in the loop, everybody that's close. So everybody's kind of excited. Everybody's kind of more anxious about it than I was. But um, it's good to have a good support system behind me that, you know, excited about the dream. So 